What up, y'all? Stance Lemonade here. Welcome back to another video. It's very sunny outside, so you see me squinting my eyes because I'm not wearing sunglasses, and it's hot as shit out here today. I know. It's uh, been a minute since I made a video about the hard bodies. I have to update you guys with a lot of things. There's a lot of things have changed. Again, with the name. I went back with Stance Lemonade instead of Stance, uh, Stance Joker because nobody knows me as Stance Joker. Everybody knows me as Stance Lemonade because of my Civic. If you don't remember my Civic, here's a picture of it. And also here's a picture of where we left off with the truck welding the diff and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I got more than just a truck now. I got another project truck plus some more goodies and uh, more things that's becoming this channel. I know that I've been lazy and not uploading anything on here. Uh, but that's the reason what happens if you guys don't follow me on social media like Instagram I'm on Instagram and Facebook 24 7. I'm always posting on there and here I always have that habit of uh, Uploading every I don't know once every in the blue moon like every six months I upload a random video or something I get motivated and to start doing videos again And then <laughs> I do like one or two videos and it just dies and I'm like disappear for another six months But anyways, I, I gotta stop doing that habit of that and now that I got two project cars, even though it's already too late filming the other, the main one, as you guys know, a Stance Joker or Stance Lemonade, the long bed, uh, D21 long bed, the antique one. You guys know that I just pulled that motor out. We welded the diff on that. I don't know if you guys know that I pulled the motor off of that one, but uh, we did weld the diff and um, was sanding it down to get it painted and whatnot. But uh, let me show you what's in front of me. Here it is, the other truck that I'm talking about. And if you realize, th realize this is not the long bed, this is a short bed D21. This is my new project. It's a short bed. It's a 1997, the XE model. I hate that freaking bumper. Uh, this thing is in beautiful condition besides obviously little stuff like this because this had a bed cover on it. I'll take the bed cover off. Um, this was in beautiful condition until I let it sit for a little bit. Got a little sun baked and whatnot. The hood was already like that when I got it. I have all the pieces. I'll put up a picture how it looked like when I got it. And then I'm um, like a month later before parking it, this is what it used to look like. And now it's here. Um, pretty mid condition. I don't know exact goals that I have for this thing yet. I do want to have one static. And what I mean by static, I never got rid of the long bed. Oh, I showed you way too much. That's classified information. I'll show you guys what the long bed looks like now. But I'm going to keep this more original paint. The interior, um, the exterior, I mean. The interior, it's that more rare color, that tan. Completely everything in here is tan. I'm not going to mess around with the interior because I actually love this tan. I'm going to try to like fix and clean it up and try to make it OEM again. And same thing with the headliner. I'm going to try and find a matching headliner or redo it like I did to mister over there but yeah i bought a topper for this thing this had a bed cover i bought a topper because i'm planning on air riding this i want one air ride and i want one static so even though my long bed is my drift truck and this is my daily this has full ac power steering drop spindles this thing has everything you can imagine um hood is not connected right now it's a mess because i just finished doing the timing on it but uh but yeah, here's the uh, the new project you guys don't know about because a lot of you guys don't follow me on social media. And this is what happens when you don't follow me on social media. But time to actually, the big update is the long bed outside because you guys have not seen how it looks like for a while now. So let's go to that. All right, before I show you guys the truck, just know that the truck does not look anything the same as the last video of us welding to diff and painting the uh the dashboard and all that other stuff the truck just does not look anywhere near how it used to be um you guys remember stance lemonade the ek that's the og then if you did follow me on social media you remember the eg hashback that was a 2.0 that one didn't really hit the road after i painting it because for a lot of reasons but uh say hello to the 3.0 and that's the truck i hope you guys enjoy
So as you guys can see, I was not lying when I said there was a lot of things that changed about the truck. Basically, the whole truck changed and just that quick. So I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna point out every little thing that I've done. And also keep in mind, the truck is nowhere near done. Um, this is just Alpha One, basically. It's nowhere near done. Like there's still a shit ton of things I have to do to it to before I bring it on the road and be happy with it. So right now, this is more like an update video showing you guys where the truck has been and uh, where I've been and uh, where the truck is sitting right now. So here we go. Alrighty, so here is the truck. It's in ratchet mode slash bougie. Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I did a little design under the paint. Um, there you, you, you can see it. I did a little design under the paint. Uh, the truck was painted like this all the way around. Um, the, I just didn't like it, the whole thing like that. For some reason, it just didn't look right. So I did this and that just to throw it off a little bit. Dude, if you guys remember, I always do the left side pink, stance lemonade style. And then this time, I decided to do this side green with all these little hearts and stuff. Um, my bed on the inside is cut. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the plastic of the cover of this. My bed is cut so I can go lower. Yes, this thing is getting slammed like crazy. So it's a drift slam truck, whatever the heck you wanna call it. So the fender, it's gonna be almost touching the tire. Sadly, solid axle. You can't camber it. The front, I can. The front, my goal with the front is to fender touching rim, basically. So. That's how she looks like, honestly. You know, I decided to do something different. I don't see no other D21 like this ever. And you guys know me with my crazy ideas and crazy builds and whatnot. I did the uh, custom grill. Well, not custom grill, but you know, with the custom LED lights that I wrapped in pink. Also, my fog lights, they're no longer fog lights slash turn signal. There are headlights now. I don't know if you guys can see the plug in there, but I converted to a uh, HIDs, yes, I converted my fog lights to HIDs. Uh, so basically I have four headlights. One, one on, two on the bumper, one on, on two on the grill. Uh, did my little you know, engine bay paint job. And you guys remember that I was welding it because all this was rusted and whatnot, but this doesn't even matter anymore because it's getting boosted. And that's the reason why I wanted to start recording, making videos again, because the truck is getting boosted. So I want to cut all this, do the piping in the cooler, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this mess of wires won't be here because I'm still doing the harness and stuff. And holy snap, I don't know. I don't know why I totally forgot about this whole motor here. This is not the stock motor. Yes, this is a KA. They do come stock in hard bodies. But if you guys know about my truck, this is an 86. This is antique. And that's not the motor that comes in this truck. I'm gonna show you a picture of what comes in these trucks that I have in my backyard right now still. That was gonna go in this truck, but KA for the win, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is just mock up purpose, the water doesn't get in there and whatnot. Did the 240 intake swap from an S13 so I can do the boost. That way it's easier to do boost. A lot of people I keep saying on, online that's doing a D21 boosted. All right, I apologize about this weird jump in the video, but uh, somebody called me while I was recording. It was a very important phone call, but what I was saying is I did the S13 uh, intake so I can boost it. Um, I was gonna run those headers, but like I said, I'm boosting it now, so those headers gotta go. That's the whole reason for the cut hood. But regardless of the cut hood, that's where the turbo can go now, and you can see the turbo, et cetera, et cetera. My painting the block, all this crazy stuff. You know, how, you guys know how I am with all my crazy paint job and whatnot. And, I, and the fact that I'm still not done doing the wiring and harness and all that stuff and the turbo, the interior is still not put back together besides one door panel and that plastic piece over there and the trims and whatnot. But I'm still doing all the wiring and whatnot and ECU's over there chilling, doing all this so I can get up and running and whatnot. Was gonna do a fuel cell back here, but there's no point. I can still use my stock gas tank back here and that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, in the future, once I turbo it, that gas tank gotta go and I have to put a fuel cell with aftermarket, 
you know, pump and whatnot and aftermarket injectors. But right now when I put the turbo kit on there, I'm only going to be doing like six pounds, five pounds, if that. It's just there for a little extra boost. I mean, a little extra power. What I mean by boost, a little power, extra power, I mean. But yeah, I got to finish doing all the wiring, tucking everything. If you guys notice, there's no wires coming through over here because everything over here is already tucked. As you can see, everything is already tucked and wired. Well, you can see where it's tucked and wired. I still have to, you know, tuck it up and take um, zip tie it somewhere or, you know, something, some upwear. Sorry, my headphones fell and uh, that's what I'm using to uh, record audio because uh, AirPod Pros. Um, so yeah, that's where's left on the truck. The truck, please, if you guys remember, the leaf spring's been re-drilled. Um, re it's off now. I'm still gonna lower it more. Like I said, I'm gonna camber the crap out of the front, lower it to fender touching rim, you know, bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna start updating you guys and recording more here on YouTube for you guys because I know a bunch of y'all do not follow me on Instagram or Facebook. But yeah, stay tuned. There's a lot of fun things going on and I'll try my best not to uh, do what I did last time, disappear. And then boom, I don't know where the truck's almost done and change names again and all that crazy stuff. So uh, keep in mind, it's antique. The blue plate's still down there. So yeah, uh, let me show you guys the motor real quick. So here's the whole plan. This is why I'm about to show you this part of this video. When that motor blows up with a turbo, I literally have a VQ from a 350Z sitting here that I'm gonna throw into the long bed and keep it all motor. Yes, people love and hate this motor. I hate this motor because of how it sounds, but it makes great power for stock motor. And that's, I can get away from using my transmission. That's why I went for this motor. And plus I got this motor for free, so I'm not really complaining. It does have a spun bearing. But as long as the crank is still good, I can get away with everything else rebuilding and whatnot. Um, there's the original motor from the long bed that I painted, as you guys can see. It was painted the joke, the joke, the Joker theme color because my as you, I don't know if you guys can see from here, but it's this uh, Stance Joker. That was my new name for both of these builds. And um, now I'm going back to Stance Lemonade because people mix. I missed the color scheme and everybody missed the, the Civic and whatnot. And now we're um, back into Stance Lemonade and I'm gonna stay Stance Lemonade because I'm tired of changing names and ideas. But there, there's the old motor chilling there. It's fully rebuilt, it's ready to go. I might end up just selling it. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys like this little update video of where the hell I've been and where, what I have planned now. But stay tuned for this little daily. This is my daily. Keep that in mind, daily. And then my drift truck. So stay tuned with these two builds. This one's gonna get painted soon. Sanded and painted soon. I'm gonna record all that process. And uh, that one's gonna get boosted and drifted and burn tires and crash, et cetera, et cetera. Because that's the life of a drift car. But I hope you guys like this video. And I'll keep trying to keep uploading so often and not disappear once in a blue moon and having different projects every time I upload. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this. Peace.